Today's the day retailers have been waiting for, the day they get to open their businesses back up for to-go shopping. Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza, she's in the studio tonight. Noelle, this is a big deal for local store owners who have had to shut their doors. Because most retailers are considered non-essential, local business owners have lost money by closing down. Now they have the option to make that money back safely. We're excited about seeing customers for the first time, even though we'll be practicing good social distancing and keeping things very sanitary. Sanitary and safety. Those are the key words allowing businesses to reopen their shops. We'll take their payment over the phone, preferably. That's how we'd like to do it because it limits any type of contact with using a credit card. And when they pull up to the curb, they'll alert us and let us know that they're here, and we will go out, give them their merchandise, preferably put it in their trunk or in maybe their back seat. Lila Voucher owns My Giving Tree in Belton. Her twin daughters own neighboring Imeraki. They never imagined the days of retail to go would exist. This has been a shock, and it's been it's been hard for a lot of. Businesses. Voucher says it went from a normal day of sales to zero in a blink of an eye, forcing them to get creative with their business plans. We have had to rethink our business and rethink, you know, an emergency plan to keep our doors open and keep things running. And I feel like we've we've accomplished that. They found ways to get online, to use social media, to use the websites to enhance their online presence. And we see this today is the opening, what we hope is the opening back to customers being able to go in. That'll come on down the road, hopefully soon. But at this point, at least they can go to the store, pick up, and don't have to wait for delivery. For now, this is one step toward getting back to everyday life. I hope that we get back to a, some type of a normal soon. The Texas Department of State Health Services has guidelines in place to keep both employees and shoppers safe. You can find those steps for completing purchases on our website, fox44news.com. In the studio, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.